Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. We're gonna be trying some more food and wine festival foods. We're gonna be checking on some new updates, browse around Disneyland, just have some fun. So come on with us. Before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. All right, so Raylani is ready for the day. All she right. even has her little Minnie Mouse like stuffed in here, so. Let's go. <laughs> so now we're gonna start our day off in Disney California Adventure. We're here at the Five and Dime. So let's go see what new merch we can find. And we're looking for a very specific hat for you. Yeah, so bucket hat. So. Let's see if they have it here. So we're looking for a specific bucket hat. Apparently it's like all black. And then it has like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse logo on it, but we're not seeing it. So we might have to check another store. All right, so here is actually the new Edna Numio. This thing looks so funny, actually. What do you think? Uh, looks funny. I love that. And no cape, so. <laughs> right? Perfect. Right, we're gonna use our sip and saver now, finally. So we came later in the day, and again, they're running out of food, so they're waiting for people to push out more um, food options here. So we came here to Garlic Kiss, and we wanted the steak with the chimichurri sauce, which I was really looking forward to, and they did not have. And I had already tore off my tabs, so I asked her, what do I do, because I'm not going to be here later to wait for that to come. So what she ended up doing was she got me the carbonara mac and cheese, which they do have, and then she got me... Um, the IPA dog from a different booth. So just make sure you voice your opinion on what your options are. So from Garlic Kiss, we have a fan favorite, which is the uh, carbonara, which is like a mac and cheese base. It has a nice white sauce, garlic, some panko breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and bacon bits. Raylani's digging into this, so this is definitely kid friendly. Um, and she's taking quite a few bites, so she really enjoys it. I'm gonna take my bite and see if it's as good as previous years. So this is absolutely delicious. I totally give it a five out of five still. However, there are a little bit of um, like red chili flakes. So I just said that it was kid friendly. I think if you just kind of work around it, the kids can still eat it, but just kind of keep your eye out um, on if they can handle the heat. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out real quick. It's dangerous. A little bit of everything. <laughs> it looks dangerous. Okay, so with that one, the cheese is really, really creamy, so it tastes so delicious. It does have a slight hint of spice to it, which I really do like. Um, the bacon bits are perfectly cooked, uh, nice and crunchy, but smooth at the same time. Honestly, everything that Disney puts out as far as mac and cheese goes, like, I dig it. So this one, in my opinion as well, I would give it a 5 out of 5. It's just incredible. Just a good little snack or even small meal. If you want some good mac and cheese, definitely check out Garlic Kissed. You will not be let down. Okay, I still honestly can't get enough of this thing. It is so, <laughs> and so you don't delicious. Like mac and cheese, but it's honestly really perfect. The Parmesan has that saltiness behind uh, to follow up on the bacon flavor. Like, it's really good today. Keep in mind that crowds are just crazy for this festival. Um, it's been, Monday. yeah, Monday. We just have not been able to find any sort of table. So keep that in mind, guys, when you are coming here. It can get a little crazy. All right, we came back to the festival merchandise to see what is new. Doesn't look like anything's new from the other day. Uh, looks like it's all quite the same, but I know a couple of you guys have asked what this in particular item is. So it looks like an like a thing that you put, um, what is it, like a utensil or something on like while you're cooking. And this will run $24.99. And one thing we do really want to do is this Alice's Wonderland Bakery unbirthday party. I know it's still been on our mind to do. We didn't get a chance to do it on Friday, so maybe we'll get it done today or possibly tomorrow. All right, guys, they are playing one of my favorite songs of all time, and the baby's dancing to it. How fun. I love it. <laughs> so from California Craft Brews, which is right in front of the Little Mermaid ride, we have the IPA sausage dog, and this is a returning item. However, personally, I think it looks different than the previous year. I think it was like a much taller bread of some sort, but it still looks delicious. I'm gonna give it a try. All right, I got my little sidekick here. So that was actually really delicious. I think the bread adds a little sweetness factor to the hot dog, or it could be the caramelized onions, but it was really delicious. Um, I would probably give it a 4 out of 5 just because of like how messy it is to eat, um, biting into the sausage. Um, I think it could be a little bit more smoother of a chew, um, but it's still really, really good and packed with flavor. Alright, so you do really get a lot of the flavors. Um, 
I did notice that it's like a uh, pretzel bun, so that tastes really good. The broth that's inside of it is very flavorful. You can uh, definitely get a lot from like the peppers and the onion that's inside of it. I do like the crunch with the um, like crispy onions or whatever's on top. Again, I think just like with the nacho cheese, how the bread is, I'm not a big fan of this one. I think it's just because it's a little bit sloppy like Nicole was saying, but I feel like that's what you're getting with things like this. So I can't really not get too much on that. Um, I would say it's really flavorful. I mean, again, the bread's delicious. So in my opinion, I think I would go with a four out of five as well. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. The more we were eating this thing, the more I actually really, really did enjoy it. Um, again, it's really, it, it is delicious. Again, just super sloppy to eat. So I'd recommend maybe a knife and a fork to cut this thing up and eat it that way. Uh, I think that would be best. Okay, so from Garlic Kiss, we actually were able to lock in the grilled top sirloin. So it's served on a bed of mashed potatoes. It has the sirloin chunks as well as a really nice chimichurri, olive oil drizzle, and some red peppers. So I'm so excited, my mouth is watering. And because they had run out, this is nice and fresh. So here we go. I think I should go in with the pepper and Ooh, yeah, get, get a, little a little bit, bit of everything. everything. All right, I don't know if I got enough chimichurri. Is that pesto on it? No, chimichurri. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right, here we go. So I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of mashed potatoes, so that already sells me on this. The steak was, um, it's not too, too tender, but it's not so rubbery hard that you can't enjoy it. Um, so I still really enjoyed the meat. The chimichurri sauce does have a, a pretty sweetness like level. It's pretty high up there. I don't know why I can't talk. I'm so baffled. <laughs> the chimichurri sauce has a sweetness factor to it. So it kind of complements the saltiness from the meat. Um, I didn't get enough of a big enough piece of the chili pepper. I wasn't feeling too, too brave. But overall, this does get a 5 out of 5 for me. Oh, that's good. So I just took a big bite of the pepper and it is really spicy. So if you're not like a huge fan of spice and stuff like that, maybe remove them because this dish is worth a shot. Um, like Nicole said, you get a nice like sweet, not really bitter taste, but more of a sweet taste with the chimichurri. And I think also the potatoes have something to do with that. The mashed potatoes are nice and uh, creamy. Like Nicole said, the texture of the meat is like borderline of being kind of overly cooked, but also not tender. So it's good. Like I would say it's like medium um, cooked. Uh, definitely in my mind, I would probably recommend this one. Um, I'd probably give it like maybe a four out of five. All right, so I think it's Raylani approved. Is it good? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So All it's right. kid friendly. All right, so in this Magic Key area, like we pointed out last week, we have the Magic Key backdrop. This is just something fun you guys can come take photos in front of and uh, just appreciate, I guess, what DCA has done with this. Raylani wanted to walk, so she's got some new light up mini shoes and she's got her mini mouse, so <laughs> really cute. We're making our way to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna go to the churro cart over here and we're gonna try the new tiramisu churro. Okay, we took a quick detour and made our way over here to Hollywood Studios. There's a new churro in town and it's a tiramisu churro. I absolutely love tiramisu, so I can't wait to try this and see if they are similar in taste. All right, it smells really good and chocolatey. Mama, mama, mama. Wanna try it, Mmm. No? Okay, this is my favorite churro I've tried so far. It's absolutely delicious. It tastes like it's light. It tastes like it's lightly coated in like a cocoa powder, then also topped off maybe with like a very very fine espresso powder on top of it. The drizzle tasting it on its own tastes like a sweetened condensed milk, maybe mixed in with a little bit of coffee. Overall, I definitely give this a five out of five for my coffee lovers. Make sure you try this one. All right, we just finished up with Disney California Adventure. Now what we're going to be doing is heading to Disneyland. Um, we're going to try and catch the Magic Happens Parade. We'll also kind of see what else is new. Yeah, let's go ahead and check out Magic Happens and maybe walk around the park and get some more updates. So babe, how does it feel to be back inside Disney after like Weird, forever? I, was like, I don't know when it's been that we were here last, but it feels like a brand new park. <laughs> Mickey! Raylani just saw Mickey and she's super excited. Oh, oh bye bye. Oh. All right, we're going to make our way inside of the Aporium right now and see what new merch we could find. So here are a couple new plushies that came out. I want to say maybe about a week ago, but the really cool part is they do come inside of this like little like mesh container and these will run you $44.99. All right, so we got some new merchandise that has rolled in as of today, I believe. 
This is the new collection for Star Wars. This is actually really, really cute. It's kind of like a side bag. I like how it has Hera and Ahsoka. And then we also have a mug, which looks really cute. And actually this bag runs $40, so that's not too bad. All right, and the next thing we have is we actually have this really cool mug. Nicole said she liked this one. I do. I like how it has the little thing on the inside the fork is with us. And it's just really cool. Classic characters, you definitely can't pass this up. And it is $19.99. All right, so the next thing we have is this really cool like spirit jersey crop top looking thing. I love it again. You got Hera and Ahsoka, some other Star Wars characters. And on the back, it says, the force is with us. And then as of last week, we saw these like Princess Leia bubble bar ears come in stock. And they look like they're back in stock here at the Aporium. These do look really cool. However, they are a bit pricey. These will run you $54.99. Also wanted to point this out. On the side of like the side bag, we have something that says, women of the galaxy, the force is with us. So again, I think this thing is really cool. All right, Nicole pointed something out. Something that hasn't been here in quite some time. I feel like I have I've seen this in a really, really long time. This will run you $27.99. If you see this, get it because these little guys are gone like the forest. All right, we made our way inside the Candy Palace and it looks like some of the Easter stuff has been arriving. We just missed the egg this morning if it did release, but they do have a couple of these uh, bunny things. So we'll definitely have to come back and pick them up. Oh, I know I said we we're gonna wait till another video, but I ended up ordering the baby one of the Easter bunny cake pops. So. We're just waiting for a mobile order to happen and we'll show you how it looks. We got Raylani something special. A little sweet treat from Candy Palace. Mm. It's the little bunny cake pop. This so is cute. huge. <laughs> All right, there you there go. You go. Yay. Good. All right, looks like Raylani is really enjoying her little cake pop. But the cool thing over here, Nicole wanted to point out, was the cast members made a hidden Mickey with some of the roses. So it's actually really cool. All right, we got two eggs here, and I'm so excited. I think this is our first time trying these here at the Disneyland Resort. I think I'm confusing having this with like the Seas candy option. Um, so this one here is actually the fudge chocolate. I believe that was the flavor. And then this one here with the tulip is the peanut butter. So we'll definitely have a sit down uh, video coming up where we try these and review them for you and give you our thoughts. All right, so now what we're doing is we're currently waiting for the Magic Happens Parade to happen, yeah. right? The magic to happen. So we're right here next to Mickey. We are have pretty much a front row view of this. It's going to be really neat. We're going to get the baby's initial reaction. So let's get it started. Are you ready for Magic Happens? Yeah. You ready for Magic to Happen? Yeah. All right, I just wanted to point this out because it's probably one of the only times we're actually going to be like right here in front of Mickey. We have a pretty prime spot. I don't think it could get much better. The floats are gonna be coming right here, so this is perfect. An indicator when the parade's getting a little closer is you'll actually see these lights start raising up, so it's kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, it's finally about to happen right now. on me from the frozen flow. <laughs> okay guys, we just got to finish watching the parade magic happens and it was Ray Lottie's first time watching it in person. We'll go ahead and link it right up above for those of you who haven't seen it yet. So quick side note, uh, for those of you that have not attended a parade, there's a lot of people and it's very crowded and there's people that wait like up to two hours for their spot. There was people that were just like jumping in right in front of us. I literally was standing in a spot and some lady like totally cut me off. And those of you who have met me know that I'm, I'm very nice. It takes a lot for me to actually say something. I had to tell that lady, excuse me, I am standing right here with my daughter so she can watch the parade. So yep. just kind of keep that in mind. Like, you know, it might be that person's first time, but just 
just have some boundaries, I guess I should say. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up today's video really quickly. We just got to meet Michelle, who is one of our followers. She's so, so sweet. I always look forward to reading her messages, yes. <laughs> as well as all of your guys' comments down below as well. But just what a surreal experience when you get to meet somebody. It's just like the best. It's it brings always a smile amazing. to my face. So thank you so much again for stopping us because sometimes we get so like tunnel vision and I'm glad we got to say hello. Yes, so thank you, Michelle, and thank you to all of you guys who are constantly supporting us. We truly appreciate it. Again, we just finished up with Magic Happens. We had some more plans for today, but I think we're gonna cut it here. We'll <laughs> yeah. be back more this week to film more videos. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap the notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you next video, guys. Bye. Bye.